you know, Mike was in a lot of trouble, man. And uh, he had a he had a uh, publicist named Ramon Bain. And me and Mike was cool over the years. I always hung out with him and talked with him. And, you know, and, like I was the only one that ever called him the N word and stuff like that. I just talked yeah. crazy to Mike because you know he needed that. You know, he just oh, he's so, 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 <laughs> hey, hey man, hey, hey, but I got no time for that. So. One day, Ramon called me and said, Steve, Michael want to talk to you. I said, what's up, Mike? He said, man, I need to go to church. I just want to go to church. And I said, well, he said, well, can you take me to church? I said, yeah, man, i take you to church because Mike thought they was going to convict him. Mm. And he said, Steve, I didn't do this, man. I just believed him. I just, I've never believed that about Mike. I, I know him. I've been around him, and that's just me. Everybody else with these, that last one that came out, he did it. That's you. You don't know. I, I, where all this stuff come from after, after he did? And then if you, anyway, that's a longer story, but if you read the GQ article that came out uh, that exposed everything they did to Michael, even the little boy came out and said his father made him say all this, blah, 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 blah. It's all true. They just was doing this, brother. So he said, hey, man, I want to go to church. So I said, okay, man. Uh, so I called up my buddy Chip Mary that owns Chip Mary uh, uh, Episcopal AME Church over off of Jefferson and Adams off of Crenshaw. Adams over there, somewhere in that area off of Crenshaw. And I called him up. He said, Michael wants to come to this church. And I said, yeah, man, he wants you to talk with him and pray for him. And so uh, I said, Mike, I'm going to come pick you up and we can go to church. So Mike had took the entire floor of the Beverly Wilshire Hotel and gutted it and just turned it into his own place. So I came up there and Mike met me at the uh, door on a moped, because <laughs> uh, he was crazy, man. I said, <laughs> he had another one, but he said, come on, let's go down to the apartment. I said, Mike, <laughs> A moped, dog. I'm 6'2". What is it? This this little bit. So ride the moped down the end with him. Get up and go in the place. And I'm looking at this place and I'm going, this is incredible. He done gutted the whole floor and just made it his apartment. It's incredible. So I'm in there, man, and uh, I said, Mike, we got to go to church. It's black people. We got to go now. You know, we got to get parking and everything. I said, Mike, did you tell anybody you was going to church? Oh, no, I wanted it to be a secret. I said, okay, cool. I told Chip Mary, man, we get in the car. And, no, first Mike goes to get dressed, and he comes out dressed. And I went, Mike, what the f- you got on? <laughs> so where you going, man? What is, what is this you wearing? What's the matter? This is my suit. I said, what, what you dress like Captain Crunch for? What <laughs> Where's you going with all these bars on your shoulders? I said, no military. We're going to church, man. You got one stripe on one leg. I said, where your suit at, man? We, black people, we wear suits, ties. This is all I got. <laughs> Steve, this jacket is $20,000. $20, I'm going, what? <laughs> the dude was spending money on stuff. So I'm laughing at him. So we go get in the car. He said, man, this is great, man. Is it, are they good? Do they have a great choir? I said, man, they be jamming. So, so we get down off the 10 and we turn on Crenshaw and it's cars from the 10 <laughs> all the way down Crenshaw, all up Jefferson out. You People are all on the side where, Michael, I'm going, what the hell? I said, Mike, I thought I told you, I ain't tell nobody. I never opened my mouth. Well, the preacher. I, the preacher told somebody Michael was coming and the word got out. Let me tell you something, man. It was people from Belgium, Argentina, Belgium. Amsterdam, signs from everywhere. People from all over the world flew in to see this guy go to church. So we finally took us a long time to get through all the crowd and stuff. Police escorts got everybody out the way. We get to the church. It's packed. <laughs> This Easter, Mm. this is a regular Sunday. It's Easter in here, man. It's packed. So before the service start, I get him in the back with the preacher. 
Chip Mary. Chip Mary prayed for Michael. He told him, he said, Mike, you're going to walk away from this. He said, God knows what you did. You good, brother. You ain't good. And he was so worried. He prayed for him. Mike said, man, he says I'm going to walk away. So that's what you, these, these people, they, he talk God all the time. We're just black church, man. So we went and they had a seat for us in the middle. We sat down. And boy, this choir came out and they was jamming. <laughs> and Mike's hair was in his eyes and Mike was just sitting there just rocking, man. He was getting it, man. He said, this is great, man. This is great. Oh, my God. What are they doing? Feel he, he knew every instrument. Man, they went from a D to an E flat. This is amazing. What? You heard that? <laughs> I don't do, dog, he was in there, man. Oh, my God. Why are those people jumping up and down? I said, they shouting. For what? <laughs> well, probably because you here. <laughs> it was funny, man. So the whole church service, he was just rocking, man. He loved it. So Mike says, I don't want to talk to anybody. Steve, go out there and talk for me. I said, ain't no problem. <laughs> Got the right one. <laughs> Look, man, his <laughs> microphones, man. I mean, everywhere. Everybody was there. Steve, we want to talk to Michael. He ain't coming out. <laughs> Not happening. Yeah. You know, Hey, well, Steve, we want to talk. I say, hey, man, Mike said he ain't coming out and he want me to talk for him. I go out in front of all the mics. Steve, where's Michael? We want to talk to him. Mike ain't coming out. We have questions for Mike. I said, Mike told me to answer all the questions. So go ahead. Why did he come to church? I say, you know, he liked church music. Why did he pick this church? He said he, I, he didn't. I did. I told him which one to come to. Well, when's he coming out? I said, when he come out, we're going to get straight in the car. We don't want to talk to you. We want to talk to Mike. I said, hey, man, tell you no <laughs> more. Mike ain't coming out here. Now, we ain't in the church right now. So, and y'all, and you know, this is me back in the day before I had all these shows. I ain't had nothing to lose, dog. I'm lighting they ass up, and I'm aggravated because the dude don't want to talk to me. I'm going with well, them. I'm all you're going to get. So what is Michael doing now? He's talking to the, I say he's talking to the kids. About what? Why are they allowing children in the basement with Michael? I said, hold on, man. Where you going with this hill? I said, no, what did, I say, press conference over. So I go in the back. So we talk with the kids long time. Michael say, Steve, I'm ready to go. I said, all right, man. So I told security, go get the car, bring it around. We walking out there to get an umbrella for Mike and all this here. We walk to the car. And we get in the car. I say, Mike, listen, man, it's people all the way down here. I just want to shake their hand. I say, Mike, you can't shake these people's hand, dog. You know where we at? We're Crenshaw. This is <laughs> what we finna do. So Mike's sitting over there and this ass rolled the window down. He over there by himself. He rolled the window down. Man, these people was reaching in there, tearing his clothes off. <laughs> um, eh, they're pulling me. Eh, eh. I said, roll your window up. <laughs> Shut up all that whining and <laughs> Mike and roll your window up. You're gonna crush that hand. Man, <laughs> that hand. But I got that window up and this dude's hand was caught in the window. <laughs> he said, and so now the car picking up speed and the dude is running with his hand crushed in the window. <laughs> Real thriller. So Mike say, Steve, stop the car. He's gonna get hurt. Man, fuck him. <laughs> We all gonna get hurt if we don't get out of here. So I told dude, speed up, man. So the driver sped up and I opened the window just a little bit and he got his hand out. He said, Steve, you were gonna drag the poor man. I said, didn't I tell your ass not to open the window? <laughs> it is your fault, Mike. He said, you're crazy. You're just talking to me so crazy. I said, I'm trying to save your ass. You don't know how to fight. In here talking about, eh, eh. They're tearing my clothes off. <laughs> what is your ass? What you think they gonna do? <laughs> so we get all the way back to the hotel uh, and they take us through the back. Uh, and Mike just stepped in some gum somewhere. So we on the <laughs> elevator and he raised his foot up and his gum down from his foot down to the floor. He said, Steve, there's gum on my shoe. <laughs> I said, and what the f I'm supposed to do? <laughs> I said, Mike, I don't get gum off nobody's shoe, man. But it's on my shoe. Now security, they up there laughing their ass off cause nobody talked to Mike like that. <laughs> But it's gum on my shoe. What the f I supposed to do? <laughs> so man, ahead, rub that f off. <laughs> the elevator opening them two damn mopeds. I said, man, we ain't got time for this. Shit. Let's walk down here. <laughs>